Hi guys, Tim Chase here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm gonna go through the three best ways, in my opinion, to keep track of your progress as you're trying to lose body fat or gain muscle mass. So we're into February now and a lot of people are starting to slip off of their training and nutrition. Now, this could be due to lack of motivation, this could be due to lack of results, or just because you've got bored because you're doing the same thing, and because you're not tracking it, you now don't really have the drive to keep doing what you're doing. You might not see massive changes when you're looking in the mirror. So here are my three best things that I can recommend that you can do to track your progress to ensure that you're still making the changes you wanted to make and basically going in the right direction to your health and fitness goals. So if you are looking to lose body fat or you're trying to drop the pounds, then this video is definitely for you. If you've got any questions, guys, as you're going through, just drop a comment below and obviously I will respond to all of them or drop me a message on my socials which I'll put along the bottom for you. So, first tip I've got for you guys on how to keep track of your progression is to do weekly photos, these update photos. These are horrendous. You've got to stand there in your underwear or your shorts. The more flesh, the better to be fair so you can see the state you're in and same time, this is very key, each week take a photo front on, side on, from the back and from the other side. Now I would personally recommend you do this both flexed and tense. So you know this is more appropriate for guys, but you know you can make a massive transformation just from changing how you stand. So the key is to stand exactly the same. Stand the same place in your house the same lighting, same time of day, so whether you've had water, whether you've eaten, make sure as many factors are the same. You can then see how you're progressing week on week. Now this is the same obviously for guys and girls. Now the key is obviously not to cover up, so make sure you are showing as much flesh as you can. I mean, these are only for your own viewing, not for other people, unless you've got a coach, then obviously cover up the bits you need to cover up. Now I only recommend you do these photos weekly, otherwise you're gonna go insane. And also, it does take a little bit of time. You've obviously got to set up a camera, so you could use a timer cam, balance your phone against the wall somewhere, um, stick it on the wall with some blue tack. Someone yesterday said they've been sticking it on their light switch with sellotape. It doesn't matter, whatever you do, you could film yourself and then take screenshots afterwards, or just use um, you know, the actual film anyway. But the whole purpose is that every few weeks you can look at those photos and see how you're changing because you won't see it in the mirror because you see yourself every day so you can then look at how you're changing and you can go and get another opinion as well if you need to as to whether the changes you're making are too drastic not enough and this will just keep you going on the right path right the second tip i've got for you guys is to do what are known as girth or circumference measurements so this is running a tape measure around different parts of your body um, to see how you're getting on because this is a very good indicator if you're putting body fat on. Best one I can recommend is doing one right around your belly button. So this will be where a lot of your abdominal fat is sitting. Now for guys, this is predominantly where you're gonna hold a lot of your fat, lower back, around the stomach. Now if this measurement comes in for guys and girls, it should mean you have dropped some body fat. So that's a great measurement to do. That's pretty much the only one I do personally, but you could also run it around chest height, so sort of nipples, you could run it around your arms, you could run it around your shoulder circumference, you could do your waist, which is very good for females, so you know, around your, sorry, not around your waist, around your hips, so the widest part, um, which basically goes around your bum, and you could also do your thighs and your calves if you really wanted to. Basically, the more measures, the better, because the more measures you've got, you can see how you're progressing over time because let's say for example um, you've run a tape measure around your chest or your thighs and the tape measure hasn't changed you might not necessarily hold a lot of body fat there or the body fat 
might not be dropping off of that place because body fat will drop from wherever it wants to go from due to a number of different reasons. So you may have lost a little bit of body fat on your abdomen and therefore your stomach reading may have dropped but your thigh reading may not have done. So take as many different measurements as you can but obviously be realistic. Don't take thousands because you're going to be there all day and you're not going to want to do it every week. So again, I would just do that once a week, same as the photos, no need to overkill it. You've actually got to keep up with this, so you know, make it, make it realistic. And my third and final way that I like to track my progress is using the scales. Now, I know there's a lot of hate out there for you know, using scales to track if you're losing body fat or if you're gaining muscle mass or whatever it may be. The scales are a good indicator. They can tell you, obviously, if you've gained or lost weight. Now, if you're trying to gain muscle mass and you're losing weight, then you probably ain't gaining no muscle. And obviously, the same in reverse. If you're trying to lose body fat and you're getting heavier on the scale, then something doesn't seem quite right there. So I would do weigh-ins. Now, personally, I do them daily. Some people like to do them every other day, some once a week. I do them daily. Now, if you're gonna do them daily, Stand on the scale, first thing in the morning before you've had anything to eat, obviously go to the toilet first. Make a note of it, I put it onto my notes on my phone. And that's it, leave it like that. Don't have a look at all the weigh-ins of the week until you've got to the end of the week, you know, the day you're doing your girth measurements, the day you're doing your photos, because otherwise you're gonna go crazy. Trust me, the weight is gonna go like this all week. You know, even if it does eventually go down over the seven days, it's not going to go straight down. It's going to go down, not in a linear fashion. And this is because you're going to be eating different foods. You're going to make you hold water, sodium, all these different factors, glycogen in your muscles. So the weight is going to go up and down. But take it every day. You can then see through the week there'll be a little pattern, maybe some trends. But obviously, then over the seven days, if you wanted, you could take an average. This will then give you an average week on week and show you whether or not your weight is coming down. Now you combine that with a girth measurement, combine that with a photo, and you should have a very good indicator of whether or not you are progressing in the right direction. So that is my top three ways that I measure progress and I recommend that you guys measure progress. One, take progress photos once a week. Two, girth measurements. Three, take daily weigh-ins. So that's my top three, guys. What I would say is there's a lot of other ways that you can monitor your own progress, but please note that whatever way you choose, you need to be able to do it regularly. So something like calipers is great, where they actually you know, take skin folds of how much body fat you got. One drawback with this is obviously you need calipers to do it. You often need someone else to do this for you, and it needs to really be the same person because there can be a lot of inaccuracies with getting different people to take different girths because it depends on how aggressive you are with grabbing the fat. And I also find that for a lot of people, you don't actually know how much fat to grab, if that makes sense. So especially on the lower back, you might have really dense fat and you can't actually, you don't know where to sort of stop that caliper. So I found that with a lot of clients, it's just not really worth doing. Um, and also as you're fat starts being mobilized, you'll notice your skin gets a bit stretchy, so you might actually get a bigger readings. But again, calipers is another great one if you've got the ability to do that. And if you're very lucky, you could use things like bod pods or dex, dexas, or um, there's all sorts of different um, amazing ways. Um, the tanita, you know, the electrical impulses that go through your hands and feet. Again, good indicators, but gonna be affected by a number of different things like hydration. But if you just stick to the three I gave you, shouldn't go wrong and look at it weekly you can then evaluate your training week see where you went wrong and just keep yourself going on the right path because ultimately you need to be doing what you need to do to stay consistent so if you can be consistent with your weigh-ins with your measurements with your photos you're going to have some great progress you can track and if what you're doing is not working you've got proof and then you can go to someone you can message someone like myself and say this is what i've been doing Here's my measurements, here's my photos, what am I doing wrong? Anyway guys, hope you like today's video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, drop me any messages, anything fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, 
drop me a message, I'll see what I can do. If you are thinking about doing your own fat loss transformation or you wanna gain some muscle mass, then check out the Chase Perfection website. It's chaseperfection.com. We have a cutting guide and a bulking guide on there. Both of them are 12 weeks long. You've got your training in there. You've also got lifestyle, nutrition, all in there, supplementation advice, and you get access to our online nutrition calculator, which takes the guesswork out of how to work out your macros, your proteins, your carbs and fats. And also, the reason I'm telling you about this product is it has a whole section on progression, so how you can keep progressing doing the little tips I've just given you today. Anyway, take care guys.